Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjade and Jade. So as a bit of a back to school kind of video, um, I thought I'd make a video specifically about organisation for sixth form. I get a lot of messages from people asking me like, how the hell do I organise all my stuff for sixth form? How do you carry around loads of sheets? How do you carry around loads of folders? How do you make sure you have everything you need? etc. So yeah, I thought I would tell you how I personally organised all my subject things um, in year 12 and year 13. And if you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Jade. I've just finished sixth form in the UK, which is like the final two years of school. Um, so I've just finished my A-level exams in maths, biology and chemistry. But yeah, let's get into it. So imagine you start sixth form. You now have three, maybe four, maybe five subjects, which doesn't sound like a lot, but the amount you suddenly have to carry is a lot more. You not only need all your subject specific stuff, like the sheets, maybe in a folder, but you also need the textbooks for the subject, you need like a pad of paper or like whatever you use, like notebooks, and to like stuff into a bag, it can be quite difficult. And I personally hate organization. I hate it, I'm not good at it. I'm just quite like a lazy person, so I need a system that just works, you know? Like I don't have to think about it too much. It's quite convenient and it just works. So today I'm gonna talk about my folder method, which kind of comprises having a day folder and having at home a load of other folders that are more subject specific, but I'll explain it a bit more as we go. So in sixth form, unlike all the other years where you tend to have a book for each subject. When you hit sixth form, you tend to work from a pad of paper, which means note-taking is completely different um, and you do kind of have to work out how you're gonna store all these sheets, organize all these sheets, especially when you do so much work in one lesson and chapters are very dense. Okay, so your day folder. This is the folder that I would carry around with me every day. It's huge right now because, you know, I just finished year 13 and I didn't get very organised at the end of the year. But, um, but yeah, in general, you would just carry around one and this has everything you would need in it for your lesson. So any lesson work I do in my pad of paper, I would put into this day file right here and inside it has dividers for each subject. A quick note also is that I tended to have two teachers per subject and we'd be doing two different chapters with each teacher. So I actually did have a section for chemistry with this teacher, chemistry with this teacher, biology with this teacher, biology with this teacher, etc. So I had dividers with a section for maths, a section for biology, chemistry and English back in year 12. And then as soon as I finish a lesson from the pad of paper, rip it straight out, just put it in that section of the folder, easy. Even in lessons, if the teacher's referring to last lesson, I could go inside my day folder, look in that section for that subject, find the chapter, find the last lesson's work, easy recap. But as you can imagine, if you kept doing this, you would build up a lot of paper in that folder very quickly. So what you do is at home, you have another stash of folders and here you do have a folder for each subject. So one for English, maths, biology, chemistry for me. So when I finish a chapter for that subject, I would transfer all the sheets of paper from that chapter into the subject specific file at home. Because the thing is, when you finish a chapter, you tend to not refer to it again in lessons in depth. So you don't really need the sheets with you day to day. However, say you have homework or you're doing revision, they're always there organized at home in your subject specific folder. So it makes it easy to get to them but you don't end up carrying around loads with you every day. If the teacher says that next lesson you're gonna be revising a chapter you've already done, easy. You can just transfer all the sheets from the chapter from your subject specific home file into your day file just to take it in with you to make sure you have the right resources with you. So as well as a divider for each subject, I also had a homework section right at the front just so that when I finished my homework and I was in a lesson, it was really easily accessible. I just knew exactly where I'd go to get the homework. Bam, go to the section, take it out, give it to the teacher, easy. So yeah, I do think this really simple organization, just having a plan of where your sheets are going, it just stops you having a buildup of sheets in your bag. It stops you losing them. And as much as I hate organization, you do need to do some of it just to make your life easier when it comes to revising so much content. <laughs> just in case you haven't understood, I'm gonna give you an example right now. So imagine in chemistry right now, 
I am learning all about rates, rates of reaction, that is the chapter. So then in lessons, you know, I do my classwork, I make my notes, I will put it into my day file, into the section for chemistry, for that chapter. Therefore, next lesson, you know, when the teacher's mentioning things from last lesson and I'm a bit like, oh, can't really remember, easy, I can find the sheet of paper with my notes on it from last lesson and quickly recap. And then bam, I've had my end of chapter test for rates of reaction. I know that I'm not really gonna be covering rates of reaction again for a while. Instead of lugging around the sheets with me every single day, just take all those sheets, put them into the subject specific chemistry folder at home so they're all there organized in that chapter together. And then it just clears up my day file so that in future chemistry lessons, I have a free section to start the new chapter and put the new sheets there. I hope that made sense. Let me know if you have any questions about how it works. If you have any suggestions for how you organized your sixth form life, do tell me because I'm always intrigued as to how other people do it, but I found that this was just a really, really easy system. If you would like more back to school kind of videos like this, organization, that kind of thing, please do give this video a like, just so that I know that. Um, but yeah, who doesn't love a good back to school video? Let me know if you try this as well. Let me know if you're a new sick former um, and just see if this helps you out. Everyone has their own methods. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a beautiful day and good luck with everything. Bye.